Hello again viewers, today we're in Eldersley in Scotland This is a place where many people believe is the birthplace of the famous William Wallace and There's a wee monument there just off the main road Here's a wee bit of information for you So as you know, William Wallace was a hero of Scotland's War of Independence against England during the 13th and 14th centuries. Now, movie fans, you've probably seen Braveheart. Not entirely accurate, but there is a lot of stuff in there that's quite accurate. As it says at the bottom, this is a special place for Scots. Please take care of it. So each year on the Saturday, closest to 23rd of August, the anniversary of the execution in London in 1305, the Society of William Wallace celebrates his life with a gala day. And there's a Wallace yew tree at the rear of the site, which is at least 300 years old. So there we go, viewers, a wee bit of history for you. We're following in the footsteps, possibly, of William Wallace here. Brought up in Eldersley when I was a young child. Moved on to other places. So this uh, monument is just off the main road. Now, as daft as it may sound, because it's quite big, you can actually miss it if you're coming through Eldersley. It's on the way to Johnson. I'll show you in a wee second. So basically, over on the left here, down this way is Johnson. And all the way down there on the right, you'll eventually come to Paisley. So this is where the monument is located. Let me know in the comments, have you been here? Any history buffs been to Scotland? Or maybe you're from Eldersley and you pass it often. It's a really nice monument. Okay, so this wee memorial here was created in 1912 through the efforts of the London Renfrewshire Society. Eldersley is in Renfrewshire. So the column is carved from a single piece of stone. Very impressive. And it illustrates some famous parts in William, William Wallace's life. The battle at Stirling Bridge when he was made Guardian of Scotland, when Wallace met, meets Bruce after the Battle of Falkirk. So if you want to pause the video, you'll be able to obviously check out some information on that. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much for watching. My name's Kevin. I do a lot of walks, mostly around Scotland on this channel. And if you're interested in that sort of thing, just go below the video, the wee red button that says subscribe, Click on it and click all notifications at the wee bell. You get a wee message when I upload new videos. I always find all these monuments and structures are just so impressive the way they've carved them out. Now you also notice the tree we were talking about over here, over 300 years old. You'll see it's protected. I won't go right up to it, but you can see it in the distance. Okay, so we've got some information here. The Guardian of Scotland. Also known as the Knight of Eldersley as well. Scottish Patriot, born at Eldersley, Remshire, around about 1270, they're not sure. And from the year 1296, fought in defence of his country's liberty and independence in the face of fearful odds and great hardship. Eventually, he was betrayed and captured, brought to London, put to death near this spot on the 23rd of August, 1305. So his example... Heroism and devotion inspired those who came after him to win victory from defeat and his memory remains for all time 
a source of pride, honour and inspiration to his countrymen. So I'll take my time going round the monument. Hope if you've never not made it here, you're enjoying just checking this out, something a wee bit different on the channel. I think it's really important. It's a bit of Scottish history. Check this out. Okay, somebody left that there recently. The Society of William Wallace have left that here. Nice. Just further around here in the monument. Really nice. If you're enjoying the video, just give it a wee thumbs up. It's absolutely free. This helps push out on YouTube, I appreciate that. Let's check it out from the front. So that's the main road in Eldersley. You come up these steps if you're walking, you can park the car around the corner. You come up these steps if you're walking. And then just up there, two minutes really up there is Johnson. So there's the start of the monument there. Step back a wee bit so you can see it. There we go. William Wallace Monument in Eldersley. We'll finish off the wee video, I'll just show you something that might be of interest to you. Some more information there for you guys. Pause the video if you want to read about that as well. Okay, you'll read about where it, Wallace's body was displayed throughout the UK. It's a very, very rainy day today in Eldersley. Now, on a lighter note, Eldersley has got some good memories for me, I'll tell you about that in a wee second. Okay, so there's been settlement on this site since at least the 13th century. Again, you can pause the video, you can read some more information on that. But it's a nice wee garden, this. Maybe visit when, it, when it's not raining, <laughs> like today. Okay, so the yew tree is thought to be 300 years old. And there we've got the wall of soak as well. The cult of William Wallace, some information on there as well. So there's no doubt he was a very, very important figure in Scottish history. And if you're coming to Scotland and you may be staying in Glasgow and you're a history buff, just pop down here, have a wee look at it. You can jump the train to Paisley, get the bus along to Eldersley, or you can get the train to Johnson. And if you get the train to Johnson, you can just pop down here as well. So I was telling you Eldersley, for many, many years I used to play for the local amateur football team just round the corner here. Just round the corner, MD from Eldersley will know it well. Down at Stoddart's at Glenpatrick. And you'll probably know that, it's been famous for the carpet factory, Stoddart's. And you might have watched a, a play about it maybe by John Byrne. Another famous Scottish guy. So believe it or not, we're on a street that's named after William Wallace. So over there we've got the church. 
Again, there's a wee football park next to the church that I used to play on quite a lot as well. It's a small park. It's got a wee bit of history there, so there's not much in it. There's just really a couple of, couple of pubs. You've got the Eldersley Inn. If you're from Eldersley, you'll know that one. You used to have the Ring of Bells. You've got the Butcher's Restaurant. It's just a small wee place, but it's got history. And here we go, viewers. We'll finish the video here. An art place to let you know. We're in Wallace Avenue, named after William Wallace. So Wallace Avenue, down there, and the monument over there. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video today. A wee bit of history for you, a wee bit different. We're following in the footsteps of one of the most famous Scottish people of all time, William Wallace. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video. Would you like to see more history videos? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.